Hi there, so Gary here from Craftmaker Pro and I'm just going to run you through this sheet so just to explain how to use it, how to enter in the details. Um, just to explain as well, so this is brought to you, it's a free of charge calculator from craftmakerpro.com. Um, if you follow through each of these tabs in order the first time you use the sheet, um, you'll fill in your hourly rates and indirect costs for your business. Um, after that, it's uh, just a simple case of filling in the direct cost for whatever it is that you're actually making. Um, obviously, please be aware, you know, we're not financial advisors, not offering uh, financial pricing advice here. Uh, please be sensible, use this sheet as uh, applicable and use appropriate values for your business. Um, feel free, you can edit or amend this in any way for personal use. Personal use, sorry, but please don't put edited copies up on the web. Um, if you would like to uh, give this to anyone or tell anyone about it, then we'd appreciate if you could just put a link to the uh, sheet here. So f put a link to craftmakerpro.com. Uh, free stuff forward slash pricing calculator and let them download their own copy and that would be awesome thank you very much okay so we'll just get into it here and it's very easy to use this sheet there's a lot of info in here um, but most of the stuff is all calculated for you there's very few things you actually need to fill in um, anything that you need to fill in um, any cells are orange so it's only orange stuff that you need to type in everything else is pre-formatted for you and they're calculated fields and you don't need to do anything with those. So the reason why we created this sheet then, there are a few other spreadsheets out there that I've seen um, that uh, will help to um, price the, your, your finished creations and that's great, everyone needs help with that kind of stuff. But most of them work really like a calculator so anything else I've seen in simple form essentially says type in your hourly rate, type in the cost of your materials, and that it, you know, the type of the, uh, the cost of the parts that you use to actually go into this piece and then it works out a wholesale and retail market values for you. So it's pretty simple, basic like a calculator. Um, the, the missing piece really and where a lot of people fall down is that they don't actually understand how to work out what the hourly rate should be. So a lot of people just say, well, I'll make my hourly rate $10 an hour, $15 an hour, $20 an hour, whatever it might be, um, and then they go from there without really understanding what the business costs are, so what the overheads are to run the business, and how much they'd actually like to earn per year, how many hours are you gonna work on your business. So if you can work this stuff out up front, it's gonna give you an idea of what your hourly rate really should be rather than taking that guesstimate at 10, 15, $20 an hour. So you only need to do this first section once, and this is gonna help you to do that. So if you sit down and think, um, how much gross income would you like to make per year? Uh, before tax and expenses. So in this example here, put in $20,000. So you fill in this, obviously applicable to you. We'll just go with the samples I've got in here as we're going. Um, put in how many weeks per year that you'll actually work. So you're obviously gonna take some holiday. You're not gonna work 52 weeks of the year. Um, in this example, we've got 47 weeks. Um, how many hours will you work per week in total? So in this example here, I'm saying this is full time, so it's 40 hours per week. If you're part time, just put in 10, 15, 20 hours per week, whatever it might be for you. Uh, from your working week, so how many hours will actually be spent on admin or other tasks? So in this example here, I've got eight hours will be spent on other tasks. So that's eight out of our 40, not eight extra hours. So what that means is that we're working 40 hours a week, but eight of those hours, so one full day, is essentially spent on admin, marketing, um, updating our Etsy store, writing blog posts, whatever it might be, but they're, they're not money creating hours. They're very essential um, tasks for your business, but you're not creating any cash with that. So that's gonna end up with giving us 32 hours per week to actually spend creating stuff that we can sell. So that's where we're gonna make our money. So we need to know what our hourly rate's gonna be based on the, uh, the time that we spend creating stuff that we can sell. So that works out for us that we have an hourly rate then of $13.30 per hour if we're working 32 hours a week, 47 weeks per year, and we wanna earn $20,000 in the year. Okay, next we're going to have a look at our indirect costs. So these are important because we need to factor these into our hourly rate because they're overheads for our business. Now, depending on where you are, you may be working from home, so you may have very, very small overhead costs, but I would urge that you actually sit down, think about it, and type these in anyway because it may just be that it's $10 a month for your electric, $10 for your phone, $10 for your internet, um, whatever those things might be. 
put them in. They're actually costing you to run your business. It's not something you should just forget about. Factor them into your, your hourly rate and um, put them in here. So I've got some examples in here. So rent, mortgage, electric, and stuff like that, obviously. If you are working in a small studio, then obviously these are gonna apply more, and I'm doing this as an example here where obviously we've got some um, overheads that are more applicable to um, someone who's actually working maybe outside of the home somewhere. Other costs as well, so marketing, so um, again, I've, I've said this before, so your, your website, hosting, uh, webmaster, printing, adverts, Etsy feeds, so on. And this section here, so our plants, so these are our tools, etc., that we're actually using in the business. So anything you actually buy, so soldering irons, drills, uh, beadboards, sewing machine, hand tools, etc., typically you're not buying these every month, um, but they are a cost to your business. So what we do here is if you just type in the cost of everything you've bought, we'll devalue that by 20% every five, uh, sorry, over five years. So essentially what we're saying is that every five years you're probably going to need to buy a new desk lamp for example so every month this equals $21.50 that you're going to need to spend on replacing tools or items for your business <clears throat> so that's a factor that you need to think about so from that this works out our monthly indirect costs so our total monthly indirect costs just to run this business here in this example is $646.50 per month We've already done our creative working hours, so we know that it's 32 hours per week that we're actually creating. So our indirect costs for every working hour are $5.05. .05. So what that means is that every creative hour that we work, you need to charge $5.05 .05 .05 as well, just to ensure that the bills that your business incurs are paid. So that's gonna cover your overheads. So your actually hourly rate needs to be the $13.30 that we calculated in the uh, first tab, plus $5.05. .05. So that now gives us an hourly rate of $18.35 that we actually need to be charging um, to pay the wage that we want and to cover the cost of our business. So once you've done that the first time around, you really don't need to mess around with that too much anymore. Uh, you can get this figure here and then you can you know, you can work with that and say, well, if, if it works out to be $18.35, you might just say, well, I want to round it up and I'm going to say $20 an hour, which is absolutely fine. But this way you've got some good basis to actually figure out what that hourly rate should be rather than just plucking $10 um, out of the sky and just saying that's what your hourly rate needs to be. So after that, now all we need to do is go to our direct costs. So this is where any time you come back to this sheet and you've actually made something, now you can have a quick, go, quickly jump into this direct cost. You just simply type in whatever the cost for the raw materials are. So in this case, I've got some beads, string, and clay. I just said well, it's three dollars, a dollar, and a dollar twenty. So my total raw materials are calculated down here, five dollars twenty. And as you remember, anything in orange, that's where we can type stuff in. Um, some packaging. So if you're going to send it out, you've got packaging costs, so tissue, paper, etc. Postage maybe. So a couple of dollars for postage put in the labor time, so how long it's actually taking you to um, create this piece. So in this case, I've got 30 minutes in here, and that will then tell me my total labor cost. So $9.17, so 30, so obviously that's, that's half of our $18.35 we worked out that we need it to actually be. And then our total materials and packaging is $7.20. So that gives us a labor plus materials cost of $16.37. So now if we go to our selling price, we have a nice little summary on here. So you said that you wanted to earn $20,000 per year. Uh, you're gonna make products for 32 hours a week. Uh, your minimum labor charge needs to be $13.30 per hour. And your indirect cost per creative hour at $5.05. .05, so your minimum hourly rate is your raw material costs for this item are $7.20, so that was the materials that went into it, plus the packaging. And you said that it will take half an hour to make. Okay, so again, all this is calculated for you. There's nothing that you need to do here. So your cost price for this piece is $16.37. So now you've got to work out what your selling price is going to be. So we've got, again, two simple little sections here. All you need to do is fill in the orange ones. 
So you need to work out the markup rate. So what are you actually going to mark this up at? Now, this is up to you, but normally sort of two, three, four times. It kind of depends if you're selling directly or if you're selling to uh, on consignment, maybe to a wholesale store or something like that. Um, but the other way. Uh, what you need to note here is that the markup is only on cost, not the labor. Now we don't need to mark up our labor because we've already worked out what our labor um, actually needs to be or what our hourly rate is. We've worked out a true value. There are people that work out um, cost of materials plus labor times two. And I would suggest that that's not the best way to do it because if you truly know what your labor cost is, then there's no need to mark it up, you've already worked it out. If you're doing cost of materials plus labor times two, and if you say that your labor is $10 an hour, and then you multiply it by two, you're just saying that your labor is $20 an hour. So there's no point in marking that up. What we're doing, we're gonna mark up the cost of our materials, and then we're gonna add our labor time to it. So the tax rate as well, so you just put in the tax rate that's gonna be, and then this will give you your markup value excluding tax and then it will give you the tax amount and then we'll add those together and say well your wholesale price based on a, a two and a half times markup if you've got seven and a half percent tax that you need to charge gives you a wholesale price of $29.21 so that's up to you again as I say you, can, you change this markup rate we can put that to whatever we want it to be so if you just want to make it um, two or whatever it might be you can play around with that, it's gonna give you that wholesale price there. But you can see very easily that, you know, it's gonna give you a very good idea, you can see exactly what it's cost you to make, and then you can see what you can actually sell it for. And then a retail price is again, so if you're wholesaling it, obviously you have gotta sell it for less because the store is gonna to to make a markup on that. If you're selling it directly, then your retail price can be higher because you're selling it direct to the customer. Okay, so the final part, if you want to keep a track of pieces, then we've actually put in a summary sheet here. So what this will do, see this, uh, this column, this row at the top here, this pulls through all the figures, so our cost of supplies, hourly rate, time to make, total cost of item, wholesale price, retail price, all these figures here are pulled in automatically from the one piece that you've just worked on. So as you change the direct costs, um, and your selling price, then this will actually change the details here. If you've just done this for a particular item, you may want to keep a track of those. So what you can do, if we just highlight this for example, okay, and I'm gonna copy that, and I'll come down to here. So you can just add them in row by row basically just to save them. So the important thing to do so I'm just right clicking here in this cell. So I'm just gonna right click. Depending on your computer, what version of Office you've got may be slightly different. But what you need to do is do Paste Special. So click Paste Special. Let's bring that into shot here. And then Values and OK. All right, now the reason to do that is that way it's simply just gonna copy and paste the numbers in here so that they won't change. Because if you just do copy paste, it's gonna take the calculated fields from up here and it's gonna put them down here. So when you go back into the sheet next time and you change your direct costs, you change the markup, it will mess up any prices that you've put in here. So once you've done that, put that in here, put in the date, whatever it might be, uh, an SKU number, 345, Just wait for this to catch up, there we go. Uh, the, the name of it, whatever, and put in the description. Okay, and then you've saved basically the details of that so you can, you can come back. So that way you can keep a track of anything because you can only really work out one piece at a time here, um, but this way you can actually keep them in, in, the, um, in the sheet at all times. Okay, so hopefully that will help you. Um, if you'd like to find out more or anything else, then please go to our website, craftmakerpro.com. Um, I'll go back here to the about, if you like. Uh, you can check out, we've got a free ebook that you can download, gives you heaps of free tips. Uh, please check out our blog, we've got lots of, conf uh, lots of information on there. And if you'd like to go through, find us on Facebook, give us a like, that would be awesome. And again, please feel free, uh, share this calculator with others, anyone that you think might um, benefit from it. That would be awesome. Okay, thanks very much.